So I finished NBA 2K24 my career. I beat the game. I basically beat the mode. I won 12 championships, probably 10 MVPs, and I broke every record. In this video, we're gonna show you guys the cutscenes, the achievements, all that good stuff you get when you complete 2K24 my career. So before we get into it, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitch, all the social platforms. We'll be streaming soon. And uh, let's get right into it. All right, so we're officially here, man. The year is currently 2040. Now, before I continue with this video and tell you guys all the achievements I accomplished, you gotta keep in mind that 2K will make you retire. It will force you to retire at the age of 40. Currently, my player is 36 years old and I played 17 seasons. So I'm, I'm imagining, do the math, uh, give or take, at the age of 40. So you have about 20 seasons to complete every achievement that you want before 2K automatically retires your player in this My Career tab is no longer present. Now in this video, we're gonna have a few cutscenes uh, with the different records that you break. The first one I'm gonna show y'all when it comes to NBA records that I broke, of course, you know, most points in the game, we have that. Uh, most points in the season in the Hall of Fame speech video I posted last, I had this cutscene as well. But most three pointers in a career, as you can see, once you pass Steph Curry, they give you a cutscene. I almost doubled his three point count. But yeah, once you get the all time record for most threes in a, in a career, what's gonna happen is you get this cutscene in the middle of the game, which I'll show you right now. And Greg, on paper, this looks like a real mismatch. These teams have very different expectations. And in any matchup like this, the early stages are important. The team coming in as a big underdog has to keep it close. Otherwise, things can go south in a hurry. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Woo. Yo, told him. You know, you don't really prepare for something like this. Uh, first of all, thank you to my family and friends, you know, who helped me get here. Uh, thank you to my teammates and coaches. <laughs> thank y'all, appreciate it. You know, who always have my back. Um, special shout out to Steph Curry, who changed the way we look at three-pointers. Without him, I wouldn't be standing up here right now. And thanks to the guys before him, you know, Ray Allen, Asia, Vince. The list goes on, man. You know, I'm just grateful and humble to uh, play in the best league in the world. You know, being up here is everything I thought it'd be and more. Uh, that's it, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pop. Appreciate you, Coach. Yes, sir. Dylan. So that's pretty cool, right? A, a cool custom you get for breaking the record. I'm, I'm glad they gave it to you. You know, this is probably one of the hardest ones to get. Um, but that leads us to our next one, which is most definitely the hardest one to get, is total points in a career. Now, maybe like, yo, Dula, how do you get 52,000 points? How? It's actually very, very simple. The way 2K's simulation works this year is kind of weird, but all you gotta do, your first game of the season or any game in the season, you just go stupid. Put it on rookie, 12 minute quarters, and drop like 200 points, and then every game you simulate, like for example right here, I'm just gonna sim the game, look. Okay, if I play this first game, and I dropped 200 points, it would take that average and throughout the season, I'd be dropping 200 points a lot. And eventually that adds up your points in total of your career and you get to 50,000 and you pass LeBron. And once you pass LeBron, they do something pretty dope. You know how LeBron stopped mid game to give his speech? They do the same thing in 2K and here's how it looks. MP. That's to mention Greg the utter dominance MP has shown recently right a, a huge scoring night for him on insane efficiency the numbers 
you can't even believe what you're reading. You just don't see stat lines like the one that MP had very often. Kevin, it looked like he had a cheat code on the way. He was making everything from the floor. Thank y'all. Thank you. I, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You did it. You did it. Appreciate you. Hey. Hey. Yes, sir. Thank y'all. Thank you. Wow. Uh, Uh, wow. <laughs> wow, thank y'all. Oh, man. Um, first of all, I got to thank the fans. We do this for y'all. That's what it's all about. Um, I also want to thank the greats who came before me. LeBron James, Kareem. It's an honor to continue the tradition that y'all started. And without legends like you paving the way, hey, let's be real, I wouldn't be here. I also want to thank my dad and my grandpa for making me the man that I am today. My family, uh, friends, the commissioner. To be the all-time points leader is everything. Everything I ever could have dreamed of. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank y'all, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Coach. Coach. I appreciate you. I bet you know. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Now those two challenges alone are hard, breaking the all-time threes and all-time points. But the hardest challenge in the game is this one right here. If you go to your GOAT moments, you go to your career, you press triangle or Y, this one right here. Winning 12 championships is by far the toughest GOAT moment. You get a million GOAT points, but not like it matters because once you get to 10 million, you can't get any more, which I feel I wish you could. I wish it would add on everything you get and you get like VC or something, 2K. It'd be, be kind of cool. But yeah, once you win seven, you pass Jordan, they give you, you know, a whole cutscene. You've seen that one. But when you win 12 championships, you are automatically the greatest of all time without a question because you, you know, cross Bill Russell. So once you cross Bill Russell and you win your 12th championship, they give you this hidden cutscene. Woohoo! That's 12! Yes. 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 Oh, yes. yes. 12 championships. Wow. wow. I mean, do you ever think this will be tough? Uh, uh, you know, not in this lifetime, no. But, uh, I mean, hey, records are made to be broken, and eventually somebody might come along and replace me. <laughs> you know, that's just the way things go. Uh, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna get back to the celebration. Thank Thanks, Kendra. Are you kidding me? 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. 12. Thank you, MP. Appreciate you. So, now that you've gotten 12 championships, you passed Bill Russell for the most championships in the history of the NBA. <laughs> now that you've accomplished the previously unthinkable, is it time to retire? Uh, you know, I got plenty of time to think about that, Gary. Right now, I just want to cherish this moment, you know, and share the joy with my teammates, my family, and my friends, man. Uh, next question. MP, Beatrice. Yes. Oui, oui. Merci. Et qu'est-ce que ça fait de réaliser un tel exploit historique? <laughs> How does it feel to achieve a historical accomplishment? Oh, right now, I feel old and tired. <laughs> but tomorrow, uh, you know, once things settle in, I'm sure I feel very proud. Thank you. Merci. Uh, next question. Hey, one more. Lisa, right what you got? If you do come back next year, is anything short of a championship a failure? Mm. If I come back next year, I'll consider it a success if I have both of my knees intact. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, listen, you know, I've proven all I need to prove in this league. I've accomplished all I set out to accomplish. Uh, the only reason for me to come back would be for the love of the game. You know, championship or not, it's a blessing to play in this league, and I've never taken that for granted. The thrill of playing in front of an NBA crowd is unlike anything else in the world. And every second I'm out there, I'm having the best time of my life. I'll tell you all that. 
Uh, but now, you know what? Hey, it's 12 yeah. championships. Let me ask you a question, Gary. Oh, you thinking about retiring? What's up? <laughs> hey, when you retire, I retire. How about that? Oh, okay, you know what? Idea. Let's do it. Hey, we're right together. You know I, what I mean? I'm with you. I'll be all about that. <laughs> all right, let's I'm do with it. you, Abdi. Anybody yeah. else? We good? Uh, MP, I have a question. Sir, please, please uh, a question. With all of these championships, is there anything else you want to accomplish in your life? You know what? I'm at a point now, you know, where I'm just trying to give back. You know what I mean? Be there for my teammates, help out these young guys, and uh, hopefully help them not make some of the same mistakes that I made. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's a good feeling. It's great. One, yes, sir. One quick question. So to piggyback off of that, have you ever thought about maybe a career in coaching in the NBA? Yeah. Or is that something that you might be interested in? No, you like that, Beatrice? Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to be honest, man, uh, I don't know. I'll tell you one thing, though. I've been blessed to work with some great coaches. A lot of respect for the coaching staff here, of course, the front office. And uh, hey, man, you never know. Crazy things have happened. i tell you that. <laughs> All right. And at that point, you basically beat the game. There's no point in playing my career any longer. So at this point, let's just go over all my career stats. We started this uh, series in mid-September, no, early September. So almost two months of my career, I knocked out six rings in about three days, just from simulating so much. You got to play your key games. Now, if you want to wonder, yo, what's the fastest way to do this? If your build can dunk. So basically what I do is on the key games, I would just foul out. I barely played the games for real. I just played a few and then I foul out. But getting six fouls sometimes takes a minute. You go in the second half, you know, halftime, all that. The quickest way to do it, if your build can dunk, hang on the rim twice, get two technical fouls, and then it'll uh, send the rest of the game. And it's much, much faster process to get to the end. Now, really, there's no point in doing this. You don't get a VC reward, nothing, which is kind of whack. I feel like 2K should give you some sort of VC, unless I do have more VC. Let me see. 82,000. Now you don't get any VC, I already had 80,000. But there's really nothing else to do. Now, my suggestion, if you wanna win rings, bro, go to the Spurs, team up with Victor Wembanyama. He barely uh, declines during his career. He's my age, still 91 overall. So just having him helps a lot. Now, the one thing I don't know is if you break the assist records in this season. I did, okay, I, I broke the assist record. I didn't get a cutscene for that, no one cares. And I imagine if I did it in my career, I wouldn't get a cutscene. No one's gonna stop me mid game for a cutscene for getting the most assist. It's not worth it. And then in the last video, you guys already saw I did the Hall of Fame speech. So in the GOAT tier, view Hall of Fame speech. I wish that you could do other, I wish there was more to the game, bro. Like, I mean, I kind of cheated by just simulating so much, but yeah, I did everything you could possibly do. Let's go over my player's career. This will be the last video on the channel with this build. I'll keep doing my career videos if you want with the new build on PlayStation, but here's a review of my player. In 18 seasons, we averaged 37 points and five assists. You can see season by season, the ones I played, the ones I simmed, 82 points a game. Uh, how many MVPs did I win? Let me see. I won 10 MVPs, 12 rings, 10 finals MVPs, 13 time all-star. Um, probably even more to be honest I'm surprised it's not more and it shows all my game highs this isn't accurate because my career high was 309 points it's a glitch whatever um so yeah there's all that we have what else um nothing really bro I did everything there is to do but one thing I'm curious about is uh achievements wise for this game so I'm currently 36 percent achievements of the game complete I think I got every uh my career achievement but let's just see real quick what we have going on here we have the MVPs and MVPs. Hey, also comment down below how much of uh, how many of you guys done all of this? Who else has completed my career? If you have um, record breakers, seven rings. Okay, okay. I'm more concerned about the ones I haven't achieved than if there are any of them are my career. Made ten perfect release shots in a single game. I've definitely done that, bro. I've definitely done that. Unlocked the tier four goat skill reward in all four categories. I'm not sure what that is. I didn't get this one because I didn't win Rookie of the Year, unfortunately. I think Victor stole that from me. And then we had the Mamba Moments one. We have win the game in the WNBA. That one probably will not be complete this year or ever. Bet on women. What is the pillars in the W? What is this? I don't know. Yeah, the rest of this stuff is my team, which I probably won't be touching on Xbox. But yeah, we completed the toughest achievements. I played 11 days, 20 hours, and 24 minutes. And that somehow ranks third. Among my friends. Am I friends with a bunch of losers? Hold on. No way I have that many losers on my friends list. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to cook these dudes. Shakedown, come on, bro. Actually, Shakedowns is valid, but Shakedown is also on PlayStation. So I'm, I'm that's crazy. I mean, so am I. Okay, and then BZ, he put 21 days in. He probably just didn't turn off his console. But that's really it to my career, bro. I've been the best player since I've entered. We have no recognizable names but me, Wembenyama, 
and the rest are bots, man. Everyone else retires, they fall off. There's no reason to keep playing my career. So with that being said, that is what happens when you break every record, when you win 12 rings, you get that cutscene. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it, man. It's been a good year. I'll catch you guys next year. <laughs> now I'm playing. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, peace.